Okay, so we often get asked, what's the easiest way to repair one of these softeners? One of these so all the softeners, Kinetico water softeners that has ever been made are very similar to this. So this is the head, this is the piece that screws into the, the first bottle. So it's threaded here. So here's the here's the item. That's the base, that's the same as the base on that one. So if you look at that, that goes that way, you can see it's this. So that piece is that piece, and that screws into the bottle, which is the whole head, that unscrews. If you can see this thread, there's a, there's a filter there. That's a thread, that screws into the bottle. So when people ask us, What's the easiest way to repair one of these softeners? Well, the easiest way, by a mile, the only way, if you don't really want to do any work, is to buy another one of these heads, this whole thing, there, this whole thing, all the levels, one, two, three, four, five, buy the, buy the, buy the head, Unscrew it and screw a brand new one back in. It's going to cost you about £2,000. In America, roughly. In the UK, probably around the same, similar price. But that's what it's going to cost. So, and that would include everything. That would include that, that piece there. So what's the alternative to that? Well, the alternative to that, and the only alternative... <laughs> And people get a little bit mesmerised by it because there isn't lots of options. You haven't got lots of options because fault finding on one of these is actually quite difficult because there are a lot of things, a lot of, lot of parts. You know, you've got the one level there, the head, you've got a, different, got a different level here, for example. And then you've got all the control mechanism at the top, which is this piece. You've got all the, cog, the gears and cogs and little impellers and everything like that. You've got pour set goes in here this all moves these move these these parts move they're on cams then you've got another you've got more parts here so what you've got is you've got all these technical seals and then you've got this level here where you've got all these moving parts in there as well so the easiest way to repair one of these softeners is to change this whole head Complete. Unscrew it. Screw it back in. Two thousand pounds. There you go. That's what it's going to cost. The alternative is to undo these bolts. There's a few of these. These bolts here that hold this thing together. Take those out and split this thing apart. These are the holes that goes into the top level. Goes down through there, and then you you have to diagnose. All the problems. So what you do is you make sure all these little pieces are all working right. If you get all this right, and then what you need to do then is you need to then replace all the seals. I'll just go and get you some seals so you know what we're doing. So you've got seals like this. These are large quad ring seals. Get some more flat seals. You've got flat seals like this. You've also got you've got tapered seals, which are quite difficult little things to get on, but they, you know it's all possible. So there they are, little tiny little ones like that. And then you've got. O-ring seals like this. It's the little ones, not the smallest. And then you've got these red ones. And then you've got other seals. You've got these ones. Little 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 O-ring seals there. Don't know if you can see those. So so the only other thing you can do is to replace those seals 
and those seals go on places like this so for example you've got your flat seals that go on this side of the main pistons you've got the quad ringer seals on the other side you've got these tapered seals on this control valve you've got a little seal on this side a smaller one which goes on here and so that's the, the other way to get you back up and running is to change the seals because the seals cause almost 100% 99% of the problem for example this here there's a seal in this gap you can't see it but you need to that is not really working that well because it's 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 not tight enough it needs to be slightly tighter than that so it's only experience that will that you would know whether the seal need, needs replacing or not and you can't guess which seal has gone that's the other thing people think that you ought to be able to just say oh well it's that seal no because there's many of the similar ones fitted and you can't tell which seals are gone before you replaced it so what we do here is we replace all the seals fit all the seals and then you're going to be up and running but you need to fit them properly most people don't fit them properly they think they're great at doing what they do but they don't get the softener back working because they've still got a problem with it but if you follow a plan you follow a video of how to rebuild these things then you will be perfectly fine and that's the way we do it here so this particular one has just been rebuilt that's going back um, that's going back to the customer but we do we've done hundreds we've done thousands of these over 40 years and we are good at it I mean that's the thing if you want your car repaired you take it to a mechanic a decent one don't you know you can take it to some cheap guy there's no point get it done properly in the first place so that's our advice is to make sure that you reassemble these properly and methodically and we show you how to do that in the videos so I just wanted to do that today because people say well we, we don't even know whether you exist or not you know yet yeah, we exist and this is this is where we work in this in this building here it's it's small now because we've almost retired so you know we're getting on a bit and this is sort of just a bit of fun for us now but we we do it and we are methodical so when we rebuild that and put it back together we make sure that it's a good job because we don't want to do it twice okay so that's what we do and there's a, there's a way of doing it and it's a procedure so for you people out there that think oh well, we don't even know whether you exist or not here we are here's here's a parts bin you can see we got all the bits this is just another one we got other places we got all this stored but look we got all these parts all all over the place in this room so there you have it thank you